and welcome back to my channel. Monica Pia is here and Dutchy boy. <laughs> he's uh he's guest hosting today with me. I just I couldn't film without him being in it, so gotta go with it. Um so I know that I haven't been here for quite some time. To be quite honest, I didn't know what to bring for you guys. I, I didn't know what content you guys wanted to see. Um, and I just wasn't in the mood really to film because I felt like nothing really was going on in my life. Um, then I was talking to a friend and um, he was actually asking me about how my fitness was going and my journey and it clicked. I was like, why haven't I done a video on this? Like what I'm doing, cause maybe there's someone out there that's going through the same issues or having the same, not I'm saying that I'm having issues, but maybe going through something like me and they don't know what to do. So that's how I got into this video. Um, we're actually leaving to Disney World tomorrow. Today is February 1st, first day of February. No more January. I know, and it's almost somebody's birthday. It's gonna be two, three. You're gonna be three. February 24th is his birthday. So he's gonna be 21, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, um, so just wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm currently doing as far as my fitness um, and nutrition and all that good stuff. So, wow, I think I like, I just put on some makeup because I turned on the camera and I look pale as hell. So, looks a little intense. Um, anyways, so what I'm currently doing is a little cut. Um, I, not that I'm doing a competition anytime soon or anything like that, but um, but um, I okay, Dutch, come over here, come over here. I am not getting ready for any competition in the near future. I do want to compete. Um sometime in the future, but I am the, uh, still bulking. I'm still in the gaining phase or the off season touch of, um, of my fitness journey. And so my coach and I decided that it would be best if I did a cut because I was gaining way too fast during my um, reverse dieting. I like shot up 20 pounds within a week and um, it was crazy. Like that's really not supposed to happen. So we kind of wanted to slow things down a bit, do a little bit of a cut. I was on the reverse dieting for maybe like six months. Um, and I was like, oh my God, I'm getting so much weight, blah, blah, blah. So then we decided to do a cut. Not that I've lost much weight at all. Maybe like five pounds. Um, I'm sorry, no, 10 pounds because before I left to Europe, I was almost 160. I know that I'm 5'10", um, but still, I've never been 160 ever. So when I came back from Europe, I was um, around 152. I did lose in Europe um, from all the walking. And um, I then started a cut after Europe. And um, I, I'm sorry, no, I like, since my calories were kind of low, as much like as weird as that seems during Europe, but I wasn't eating as much. And I was really walking a lot every day. So my cardio was pretty high, which caused me to lose the weight. Um, not that I was dieting or really watching anything. Um, I mean, obviously I was trying to get in my protein and, and try to fit my macros, but I really wasn't, I just wanted to enjoy it and not focus on my macros. Am I hitting my macros? Am I not? Like I didn't touch any of that. I did go to the gym, but I didn't touch any of anything else. Um, 
as when I was in Europe. So then when I came back, we kind of wanted to bring up my calories again because I was really low. So um, we did that. I ended up maybe getting up about to 155, 156. And then um, we started to cut again. I Before I got to, before I left to Europe, I was already in a cut because a mini cut because I was already, like I said, reaching 160 and that was bogus. Um, so, and when I started my quote unquote gaming phase, I was 140, which was like right after my wedding. So yeah, I'm telling you, 20 pounds. So, and it wasn't like over a long period of time. It was very short. Like I did, like I gained it probably within the first two months. And then I did like just maintain it, like maybe fluctuate a pound or two here and there. Um, so then we decided to do the cut, like I said, and it was just basically to balance everything out. And you know, if I was going up so, um, so much, like we needed to calm that down. Cause if not, like we really couldn't go from there, bring up my calories more than what it was. It was like 1800 and I was already, you know, 160 and 1800 is nothing. So we kind of just wanted to regulate everything, bring it down a little bit, kind of do like a fresh start to then start reverse dieting again, which I've already started um, to incorporate higher carbs. I am currently at 15, well done, I'll tell you right now. All right, so currently um, my coach and I were trying different things, so I'm really not just gonna get into that. It was kind of just to see what works for me. And what we did find out is um, I, my body responds well to a higher carb day. That, to a higher carb day. So right now, um, I'm just doing high carbs on my leg days. So on my non-leg days, I'm at, on my non-leg days, look at his tail. Okay, on my non-leg days, I'm at 16, 9 calories, 150 grams of carbs, 142 of protein, and um, 49 fat. Those are on my regular days. Now, on my high carb day, which is tomorrow, um, I'm at 1,700 calories, 195 grams of carbs, 140 protein, and 40 fat. So, protein stays the same, carbs go up, and um, about 45 grams, and fat go down by like five grams because I'm sorry by nine grams um so that has been working for me and that is kind of how we've decided that I'm going to go on to reverse dieting um is starting by having those high carb days on my um leg day so my body I haven't lost any weight but it ha I haven't gained so that's really good I've kind of just stayed the same um, and so we are going to start reverse dieting by doing the, the, the high carb day on leg day. And then from there on, we're just trying to increase my carbs slowly, but surely as well as my calories and just my macros. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like what I've been dealing with. You know, everyone says that, oh, it's so easy. Just reverse diet in theory on paper. It sounds super easy like you, this is what you got to do increase your calories increase this but what you don't really realize is how you feel emotionally physically like mentally everything that you're going through um all that plays a role and even though i know that my body needs to go back in the high calories like it's still kind of shocking as a woman as a competitor as someone that used to model and do pageants all her life you know it's tough seeing that scale go up. Obviously, I want it to go. That's Dutch moving the camera. I do want it to go up, um, but with muscle, not so much fat. And I know that there is fat gain when you are gaining muscle. That's just can't like help it. But it was mostly just fat that I was gaining. So, um, you know, maybe you're having this problem, which is why I wanted to do this video. Um, cause you know, nowadays everyone's like, yeah, reverse diet. It's so easy. Oh my God. I look better now that I'm reverse dieting and blah, blah. 
Um, and maybe you're not. Maybe for you, you're struggling. You think that you're doing right. You know, another thing is that I, I have to confess, I don't do that well when I am not on a prep or um, like a goal photo shoot or something that I have a goal for. I'm actually not that, um, that consistent and that good on my diet, honestly. Like, I, <laughs> Kevin hates it, but like, we'll go out and be like, can I try this? Can I try that? Like, I'll order my food. But like, when you come to think about it, trying everybody and trying a little bit of this, a little bit of that, Dutch, it starts adding up. And um, that's something that I know that I've got to work on. And, you know, I've gotten a little bit better, but it's still tough on me. Um, when I have that, just that freedom that I can eat because I don't have to be on stage or I don't really have anything in the near future, um, I just, it's harder for me to be strict. I don't want to say strict strict because you can't be like strict all your life but I'm not as great on my macros more so than not like obviously you can play around with your macros but more so than not I'm not good so yeah I'm just I feel like this video is all over the place but I just wanted to get on the camera I hadn't been in a long time and just wanted to say hi we wanted to say hi. <laughs> um, Dutch, how's your diet? Yeah, you eat like twice a day. You got your little kibbles. <laughs> and you got your treats. And you'll love it. And lots and lots of water. Um, so yeah, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Or just give it a thumbs up because it's poor Dutch. It's his first time so much on camera. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Look, he looks like a shark when he does that. He's a chocolate lab, not a shark. Mm -hmm. In case you didn't know. Alright guys, so I will see you in the next video. And I wish you all the best. And happy February. Bye.